We all do it. We all love it. Well, technically, we don't all love it. What do you mean we don't all love it? I just mean that some of us are dragged into it, kicking and screaming by an overbearing partner and tyrannical coach and parents who are ashamed of us because the lousy sports and... <sighs> okay, okay, calm down and let's get back to the intro. Right. Sorry. A good category, any category. They're all equally great and impressive and stupid with the same potential for disaster. Let's get on with it, shall we? A Day in the Life of the Average High School Thespian by Luke Foster and Scott Nicholson. What will we do? We will amaze you. Astound you. Excite you. Surprise you. Suspend you. Suspend you? We're suspenders. We are going to show you what we do every day in competitive speech. Which is absolutely nothing. Now we will show you what we are supposed to do. Which is acting. Or speaking. Or both. Stay with us as we take you into the amazing realm of competitive speech. Dum dee dum dum. Dum dee dum dum da. There are eight events in speech. First one is duets. There are two kinds, humorous and dramatic. First, we will do a humorous. This scene is in New York City street late at night. I will be the victim of the mugging. I am the muggy, and Bella is a mugger. Don't use my real name! Sorry, here we go. Uh, freeze. Drop that weapon. I'll teach you a lesson. Police, police! And that was humorous. Well, it's supposed to be humorous. Your laughter would be appreciated. Now we will do that same duet, but attempt to make it dramatic. Do not. Repeat. Do not attempt this in your own home. It should be done by qualified professionals only. Freeze! Don't shoot. I have a husband and children to support. Put all your money in the sack. Now! But, but I can't. Now! But... And that was dramatic. Now we move on to a lighter subject. Interpretation. There are two kinds. Humorous and dramatic. I'll do humorous. And I'll do dramatic. Simultaneously! <laughs> so here we go. Next, we have prose and poetry. I'll do prose. And I'll do poetry. In prose and poetry, you have a manuscript. Which has your material, but you can't look at it. You can look at it, but you can't read it. Why? I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Now Karina will perform a prose selection. A warm summer breeze washed through the window in the kitchen as Lassie jumped into Timmy's lap and looked him in the eye. And that was prose. Now Bella will perform a poetry selection. Take it away, Bella. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its voice is white as snow. This is, that is completely, absolutely wrong. What's wrong with that? Three things. First, you read the manuscript. Second, you didn't take it out of rhyme or rhythm. Third, you bounced and jumped around. You can't move. Let's try it once again, okay? Okay. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And anywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. And that was poetry. There are some other events like oratories, extemporaneous speaking, but we don't have time to show you those. We do have time for whoever to show you our climactic conclusion. Climactic? Yes, it means end. Oh, so we're almost done? Yeah. Well, let's go. Next, we will show you a debate. There are two different kinds of debate, Lincoln Douglas and cross-examination. Since we only have two people, we can't do cross-ex. 
So we will do Lincoln Douglas. Can anyone tell me where Lincoln Douglas debate got its name? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know, I know. Tell us, Bella. Uh, wait, can you grant? Almost. Try again. Grant and Douglas? You're getting close. Ah, Lincoln and Douglas. You're absolutely correct. You win a copy of our home game and a year's supply of turtle wax. Yeah! Now on with the shoe. I mean, on with the show. This is whenever two adults argue about a specific silly subject. We will debate the topic, is it necessary for donuts to have holes to be classified as donuts? I will argue for the topic. And I will argue against it. So here we go. Donuts. I believe that donuts are essential to our society. So it is good time to be arguing the topic, do donuts have to have holes to be donuts? Well. Yes, but that is not the correct topic. The correct topic is, is it necessary for donuts to have holes to be classified as donuts? Listen, buddy. You will get your time to talk. This is my time. So you keep your mouth shut while I'm talking. Got it? Okay, fine. As I'm going shut to Shut up! Fine. Getting back to what I was saying. There are billions and billions and billions of donuts without holes. Therefore, you can plainly see that it is possible to have donuts without holes. I now am open for questions. I have but one question. Where did you get the statement, billions and billions and billions of donuts without holes? I was watching Cosmos and the Dunkin' Donut commercial interrupted it. Is it not true that Cosmos is on PBS? That is two questions. Just answer it. No. What do you mean, no? No, your statement is false. What do you mean? You asked if it was not true, and I said no, therefore it is true. So you are saying yes? No, I am not. Just answer this question. Is it true that Cosmos is on PBS? Yes. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? I did. Therefore, how could you be telling the truth? It was a rerun at NBC. Oh, whatever. That is all the questions I have. Now the negative will deliver her speech. Now, the definition of a donut, according to Webster, is a usually ring-shaped piece of dough deep fried in fat. This is a fact. It comes from a factual book. Therefore, I am right. I now am open for questioning. Could you please repeat that definition? Certainly. I usually uh -huh. Did you say usually? Uh, I guess so. What does usually usually mean? What? What does usually usually mean? Well, usually usually means usually. Usually? So it does not mean all the time, does it? Not usually. Therefore, you can plainly see that it's possible to have donuts without holes. But, but, I but... Don't be conceited. So you lost and you know it. But to furthermore prove my point, where do donuts come from? Uh, the stork. Uh, wrong again. They usually come from dough. Dough? Now, can you tell me what is in dough? Dough? Dough. Dough? Dough. 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 Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, di, do. Back to the subject. What is in dough? Well, flour, butter, milk, eggs. Hold right there. Did you say eggs? Exactly right. There are no holes in eggs, are there? Well, no. Now, that means that donuts do not always have to have holes, because eggs don't. Now wait, eggs come from chickens. But chickens come from eggs. But chickens were here first. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. No way. Yes way. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. And that is debate. We hope we have given you a small view of the day in the life of an average teenage thespian. We hope we have given you a colorful and inventive look into the realm known as the thespian zone. Do 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 do.